Okay, so I ran out of uh, some storage space on my iPad there, so sorry about the abrupt cutoff. Uh, but where I left you off, okay, was that we said that we had two Na gases. We wanted to turn that into a solid, because that's what we see up here, okay? So we took our first equation here, we multiplied everything by two, right, including the enthalpy, and we were able to say, okay, well, so we have two Na solids turned into two Na gases, okay? Total change in enthalpy is going to be 214 kilojoules, because we're going to multiply that by two, okay? And then we're going to be able to cross this out because we have a 2Na gas here in the products and we have a 2Na gas here in the reactants, okay? So just moving off of that, I'm going to put down a 1 here so that way I know that this is the first equation, okay? And then I'm just going to check mark that because I'm not going to use it anymore, all right? I've already put it in the bank. So now what I need to do, all right, now I basically say, all right, I've got my 2Na solid here. I've actually got my Na2 oxygen uh, up here as well in the solid form. So, I mean, what I also like to do, which I didn't do this time for some reason, is I'll check mark there and I'll check mark here to say that these two are pretty much taken care of. All I need to do is really get that oxygen, okay? So it's going to be hopefully nice and simple because, so I'm going to start off again. I need to have this one half oxygen gas, okay? But, you know, this is at the end. So starting from where basically I started, right, my very first equation that I placed in here and used Hess's Law with, I actually ended up with this oxygen anion in a gaseous form, okay? So I need to go from here to here, okay? So first thing I'll do is I'll try to find um, one of our equations up above that has this oxygen 2 minus anion. So let's take a look, and here it is, right here, number 5, okay? So we have an oxygen 2 minus gaseous ion, okay? Now this is in the products, uh, sorry, this is in the reactants here, this is in the products, okay? The coefficients are exactly the same, so I actually don't need to alter anything. I don't need to multiply or change the coefficients or, or turn this into a negative. I can just put it in as is, so let me just do it that way, okay? So I'll mark down my number five there. Here I go. I've got O negative gaseous, right, plus an electron, because we're talking about electron affinity here, and that's going to turn into... A, uh, an oxygen anion with a negative 2 charge, right? And that's exactly what I have here. That's exactly what I have here on the reactant side. So that's okay, all right? I didn't need to alter anything. I didn't need to change any coefficients. So this is still positive 744 kilojoules, okay? I am now going to start crossing things out. Boom, boom, done, okay? Another thing I can cross out actually is this electron here, because I have another electron here, right? So I can go boom, and then I'll cross that out, and I'll put in a single electron in its place, okay? So I'm not quite done yet, right? Because I don't want this O negative gaseous. I want a one-half diatomic gaseous oxygen, okay? So now I need to find something with this negative one oxygen. Uh, so let me check that off so we know we use that. Um, and actually, the answer is right here, right? We have it right here, okay? That's uh, number four. Uh, it's already on the product side. That's where we needed it. This was on the reactant side, so it'll cancel out, all right? So uh, that's okay. The coefficients are exactly the same, so that's okay. So I don't need to change the enthalpy at all. I can just write this in just as is. So I'm going to write in my four here, so that way I know that I'm dealing with equation number four. And I'm going to write it in as, well, oxygen gas, this is monatomic oxygen plus an electron, all right, turns into O minus in a gaseous form. And I don't need to change the enthalpy, so that's negative 141 kilojoules, okay? I'm going to cross things out now. I've got this in the product side, this on the reaction side. I've also got this electron here. I can cancel out that last electron that I left over before. I'm left with oxygen gas. Do I want oxygen gas? Do I want monoatomic oxygen? No. I want to express it as one half oxygen, a diatomic oxygen gas. Okay, now these are basically the same thing, but I want it explicitly stating one half oxygen diatomic gas, right? Or diatomic oxygen gas. Okay, so now I need to find the equation that has this O monatomic gas in it. I've only got one left. It's one half O2 gas from one oxygen gas, right? Well, First thing I'll ask is, is this on the product side and is this on the, re you know, I, I have it on the reactant side, I want it on the product side. So yes, yes, in fact it is there, okay? Um, the other thing I'd have to ask is, well, all right, um, 
Are my coefficients the same? Yes, they are. Do I need to change my enthalpy then? Absolutely not. So I'll write in the two over here. I'll go at it. I have one half ox diatomic oxygen gas. Okay. I'm going to basically transform that into monoatomic oxygen gas. And I'm going to say the change in enthalpy is 249 kilojoules. Okay. So let me try to find my calculator now because here we go. I'm going to basically say, all right, that cancels out. That cancels out here. What am I left with now? Well, I'm left with, I have my 2Na solid here. Okay. I've got my one half o diatomic oxygen gas here. Okay. So that's good. That's good. On my other side, all I have left is this uh, sodium oxide. Uh, and that, if you look here, and you compare it to here, they are identical. So my, to my delta H of formation that I should get should be the sum of all of these numbers. So let's hope that on our test, you know, our, our totally friendly, totally can use it on the test calculator this time, let's add all these numbers up together. And, um, two, this is a little challenging doing it this way. Did I put in everything? Okay, so I've got negative 2608, I've got 992, I've got 214, I've got 744, I've got negative 141, and let's add 249 to it. Your answer should be, drumroll, negative 550. So you're Delta H of formation is negative 550 kilojoules. Okay, so there you go. That's your answer, and we're done here.